Peter Milbury from Dover has had high blood pressure and diabetes for more than 15 years. He takes a cocktail of pills morning and night. It makes you very lethargic yeah. and it takes away a lot of your oh, energies, right. which makes life uh, quite a bit difficult. You know, where it, you normally do a thing in sort of 10 minutes, um, sometimes it takes you 20 minutes, half an hour. Peter is today receiving a pioneering operation here. The Kent and Canterbury Hospital is among those trialling a new type of pinhole surgery. It involves inserting a probe through the groin. It's carried to a particular blood vessel and burns it, thereby disrupting signals from the brain, telling the kidneys to keep blood pressure raised. I think this is a hugely exciting breakthrough for the treatment of high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a worldwide problem and uh, there are patients on it needing large doses of very complex drugs to try and control their blood pressure and anything that might uh, help that is going to be a significant benefit. So it could end up saving lives? Absolutely. It is uh, intended to do exactly that. What are your hopes for this operation today then? Well hopefully um, it's going to take away a lot of the pills I have to take. It's going to take away, hopefully, a lot of the uh, lethargicness and give me a bit more get up and go. And of course, also uh, the thousands of people it's going to help as well. And less than an hour after this interview, Peter is wheeled in. An x-ray machine allows doctors to follow the course of the probe through his body. The probe which is inside the artery now is uh, generating microwave type energy which is um, burning the nerves outside the artery. And this is what it's all about? This is what it's all about. And the patient uh, is experiencing a little bit of discomfort which is predicted and he's being um, looked after by our anaesthetist from that point of view. So he wasn't under a general anaesthetic, he got an anaesthetist standing well? Yes, because it's known to be a little bit uncomfortable and uh, just to control it we used one of the anaesthetists to help us. The results of the trial will be collated. Hopefully soon this simple procedure could be carried out in hospitals across the South East, cutting down the risk of strokes and heart failure for thousands and thousands of people. Derek Johnson in Canterbury for Meridian Tonight.